All right, welcome back. Um, so just for anyone who's only joining us now, this is the second video in this uh, two-part video. Um, so it's a big long question, and the first one we answered part one to four, and now we're gonna do part five to eight. So if you're joining us now and you haven't seen part one to four, I would recommend trying to go back and find the previous video. Um, but otherwise, yeah, let's just go ahead. So we all know the Bernoulli trials and how to use them. And now we're gonna look at some difficult questions. So the first one we're gonna look at is part five. So the probability that the Irish family eat potatoes less than nine times, all right? So we'll start down here. So less than nine times. Uh, and this is sort of where it gets difficult. So less than nine times. Uh, so what is less than nine times? So in this case, what is N, what is OR, um, and what, it, what are P and Q? So N is still 10 but the number of successes or is kind of the hard bit. So P and Q is still 0 0.7 and 0 0.3. So less than nine times isn't one number and that's the main problem. So less than nine times is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All of these outcomes where they have potatoes zero times, one times, two times, etc., they're all less than nine times. So you have to find out the probability of each one and then add them all together. So I'll write that down. So prob of each and add all, I'll say. So that'll take ages. So it's eight different calculations you have to do and then you have to add all of those together to find your answer. So that takes a long time and you can do it that way if you want, but there is a much quicker way. So I'll skip to yellow for that way. So one thing I haven't mentioned about Bernoulli's trials yet is if you find the probability of zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you add all of them together, so add, it'll be equal to one. So each one of them will give you a decimal point, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 point whatever. If you add each individual case together and add them all together, uh, you will get one as your answer, as the total probability. Uh, and that's kind of the way it has to be, because depend each different case, they all have to add up to one that something will definitely happen. That's sort of what it means. So we can use that to help us figure out this question easier. So because all of these have to add up to one, that means if we say one minus, we'll say prob of nine and, no, not nine and 10, nine or 10, it'll be equal to the prob of zero, one, two, dot, 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 seven, eight, or the probability of less than nine, okay? And so this is one specific case. We're looking at less than nine, uh, but it's a really, really important case, and we need to, you need to remember this basically because it can come up again and again. This part six, probability they have potatoes at least three times, uses sort of the same method. So you need to remember that one minus the probability of something is equal to the probability of something else. So it's just a really, it's a kind of a handy trick. You only have to calculate the probability of them having potatoes nine and 10 times instead of doing for zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which will just save you a lot of time, okay? So uh, I'll write it out all out on one line. So the probability of um, 10, nine, 0 0.7 to the power of nine times 0 0.3 to the power of one. Actually, it's gonna put this in a square bracket plus 10, 10, 0 0.7 to the power of 10 uh, times 0 0.3 to the power of zero. So this is one minus, this is the probability of them having potatoes nine times. Uh, so it's n is equal to 10, or is equal to nine, p is 0 0.7 to the power of nine, and q is 0 0.3 to the power of one. And this is the probability of them having potatoes 10 times. Um, stick all of that into your calculator and we will find that the answer is 0 0.851. So that's the probability of them having potatoes less than nine times. So hopefully that makes sense, that one minus probability of nine or 10 is equal to the probability of them having less than nine. And that all comes from that if you add each probability up, it has to be equal to one. So I'll skip on to the next part then, part six. Uh, and we're gonna use a similar method. So part six is the probability they have potatoes at least three times. So part six, let me scroll down a little bit more. 
at least three times. So what does at least three times mean? The way of saying that is three or more, which means three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 times. So all of those different possibilities. Um, so again, we could calculate all of those probabilities and add them all together, but there's zero, one, and two are the ones that aren't included. So what we can do is we can say one minus the prob of one or, sorry, not one, I should start with zero, of zero or one or two will give us the probability of uh, three or more, okay? So no, prob, no, let's say one minus prob of zero or one or two is equal to prob of, of at least three, okay? So I'll just scribble that, I'll just go green. It's gonna be one minus and then big square brackets. It's going to be 10, choose zero, 0 0.7 to the power of zero, and then 0 0.3 to the power of one, plus 10, choose one, 0 0.7 to the power of one, and 0 0.3 to the power of nine. Sorry, that should be to the power of 10 here. My, my, my mistake. Um, plus 10, choose two. Uh, in this case, it's 0 0.7 to the power of two times 0 0.3 to the power of eight. Uh, so one minus all of that adding to, added together. Stick that into your calculator and you'll find that the answer is 0 0.998 times. So the probability they have potatoes at least three times is pretty high, okay? And hopefully again, that makes sense. It's the same principle and it's something you definitely have to learn. So you have to make sure how to make sure you understand this type of question and be able to answer other questions like it. Okay, so the next question, I'll scroll up to have a look. The probability they have potatoes for the first time on the fourth day. So it's this one here. Um, the first time on the fourth day. So the last two questions are pretty similar. So we'll try and answer them together. Um, are my, I think I'll scroll across to answer them. Um, so we're doing Part seven, if I can just draw a line down here. Part seven, so it says for the first time, fourth day, okay? So the probability that they have potatoes for the first time on the fourth day. So what that means is they have no potatoes, then they have no potatoes, and then they have no potatoes. So that's day one, two, three, and then we'll say yes. So, and then on the fourth day, they do have potatoes. Um, on the, yeah, on the fourth day, they do have potatoes. So no, 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 and then yes. So we can answer this using Bernoulli's. So I'm gonna break it up into two separate things. So the first one is just gonna be the first three days. So we're gonna say that n is equal to three, four is equal to zero, there are no successes, p is still 0 0.7, so the probability of getting a potato, and 0 0.3 is the probability of failure. So it's gonna be three choose zero times 0 0.7 to the power of zero times 0 0.3 to the power of three, and, which we know in probability means multiplied, um, 0 0.7. So if you want, you could make a second Bernoulli for this, but it'll end up just being 0 0.7. So the probability you have potatoes on the fourth day is just 0 0.7, okay? So if you multiply this Bernoulli's trial by 0 0.7, we will get, our answer will be 0 0.089, okay? So that's how to do a question like this. It's splitting it up into two separate, um, two separate trials almost. So I'll scroll down, I'll do the last part, which is pretty similar. I'll go purple. So part eight is uh, very, very similar. So in this one, it's that the, the probability they have potatoes for the third time on the eighth day, okay? So that means in day, we'll say one to seven, they have two, two potatoes, or two, they have potatoes on two of the days, and then on the eighth day, they have potatoes again. 
okay? So you split it up into two separate time periods, the before the day and then on that eighth day. So in this one here, we have n is equal to seven. We have or is equal to two. So they have successes two days. They have potatoes two days. P is 0 0.7 and Q is 0 0.3. Uh, so if we stick that into uh, our Bernoulli's equation, it's seven choose two, 0 0.7 to the power of two and then 0 0.3 to the power of five times or and that they have potatoes on the eighth day so that's just again is just times 0 0.7 so if we want to stick all of that into our calculator we will find the probability is 0 0.018 okay so now that was a long video so sorry about that and um, i'll just go back to the start and do a quick recap um so the bernoulli trial so it's a bernoulli trials question i've kind of incorporated almost every question they could ask you every question i could think of anyway so the first four are basic enough they're just that's what we covered in the last video um, and it's just how to use Bernoulli's trials formula and how to do different numbers of it uh, and then part five six seven eight are more difficult so the, f the first two so part five and six are quite similar the probabilities they have potatoes less than nine times or at least three times and it's just you can't calculate each one of them individually but it takes a long time and I just showed you the little trick to avoid that so one minus the probability and then the other two, so question seven and question eight, there's another little trick. Um, if it says something like the first time on the fourth day or the, the third time on the eighth day, as you split it up into two separate time, time periods and you multiply the two different Bernoulli's trials. Okay, so hopefully that all makes sense. Sorry again for the long video. Uh, we'll see you in the next video where we're gonna start looking at arranging, choosing and the box method. Uh, and that's going to be our last big topic in probability. Okay, we'll see you next time. Uh, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you next time.